This is Sarah, and this week I've been working on the beatbox, which is the the hitbox or the hotbox or the whispering crotch salmon. I don't know. It has a bunch of nicknames now, but it's it's technically called the beatbox, which is the peripheral that is responsible for whispering to my lady parts at a volume equal to my heart rate. Yeah. And it just consequently happens to look like a filet of fish at this point, which I'm totally okay with because, I don't know, I have a sense of humor, kind of. So this Friday, my circuit boards arrived from the Fab Ferry and they turned out awesome. So that was the Phileo, which is the board that runs the whole beatbox show. It's the thing that looks like the uh, cross section of fish. And then there is the pulse board, which is the heart that's going inside of the heart-shaped backpack, and it kind of mounts in the center, and it's responsible for running the entire she-bone show. The traces on the heart look delicious. You can actually see them under the solder mask, and the salmon looks like a salmon, which is what I was going for. So I went ahead and compiled one of each of them to test and make sure that they do what they ought to. The heart hasn't been tested yet, uh, but the Phileo more or less does exactly what it's supposed to. I bought a basic heart rate sensor for testing out my proof of concept. And it works sort of alright. If you press the green LED against your finger, the light shines on your blood vessels, and the amount reflected back is then picked up by a sensor, thus reading your blood flow as a continuous gradient of values. The sensor came with demo code, which allowed me to get it working with my LED strip right away. But getting it to also control the volume of my speaker is another problem that is going to take a little bit longer to figure out, and I'm going to need Mark's help. What did I do? Holy shit. It's terrifying. So the first version of the housing couldn't actually fit anything inside of it. I designed it about a month ago, and I didn't think hey, where's the circuit board going to mount? Or how am I going to actually get the LEDs to stay in place? And what way are they going to be pointing? In addition to not being able to fit anything inside of it, I would never in a million years want to wear something that's that boxy and thick in between my legs. It looks like one of those Gundam rectangles that just sort of like chunks in between my legs and my thigh meat would just get destroyed if I attempted to wear this thing. I did make a second version because it is supposed to be a wearable. So I went ahead and kind of tapered the shape of the crotch box, the beat box, so that it kind of slims down as it goes kind of in and towards the pelvic region. It looks roughly the same. It doesn't have the uniform salmon filet physique, but it does look nice. On top of that, there is room for everything to actually mount on the inside of it, circuit board, LED, speaker and all. So you'll be able to pick the thing up, flip it around, and you'll see the nice, like, salmon cross section just sort of staring at you along with the speaker, and then the LEDs have their own nice little slot. Even though this update isn't focusing on the pulse pack, uh, that's coming along as well. I've more or less assembled the rest of it. I actually, I spent a good amount of time creating straps that actually form fit to my body. They're not just, like, straight lines. They're contour fitting pieces, and so that took a little bit of planning. The board, now that it's arrived, has been mounted inside of the center of the heart, and it looks gorgeous. Uh, the traces turned out delicious. Uh, it, it's, it's taking shape, and it looks exactly the way that I wanted to, which is kind of like an organ or a breakout board for a circuit board, and kind of like nerves. But yeah. This time next week, I'll actually be in Japan, which is insane. Like, I cannot believe time flew by that fast. Uh, I will probably do my next update from my hotel room. I'm hoping at this point all of the stuff that I've been working tirelessly on survives the trip. But in either case, I will tell you um, of my success or of my damage control plan once I get there. Probably get footage of me kind of demoing the whole shebang in the city because that's the point. Even if I look ridiculous, I'm going to enjoy myself because this is what I want to do. Wish me luck. And as always, thank you for watching and keep making awesome stuff out there. And I'll talk to you from Tokyo. Is it like this? Or is it, is it like, I don't know. What do they do? What do kids do these days? Is it kawaii? I'm gonna be totally kawaii.